Blash 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 family, I'm back again with another topic, guys. Listen, every day I bring you something new, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, hit that like button as well. If you got any questions as well. Also, I love the hate. I love the people that were hating all the time. So today I've got to talk about, you know, a black Egyptian, black uh, Sudanese, Nubian, or whatever you call it, or whatever you call it, you know what I'm saying, child? Or a slave. Or whatever. Abul Misk Kafur or Kafir. So if you don't know Abul Misk Kafur Kafir, uh, he was one of the greatest, the greatest person or leader ever lived. You know, uh, he was basically he was the vizier or the grand vizier of the Ottoman Empire in Egypt and Sudan, or, or what, 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 what they call it, Habshi. Do you understand what I'm saying, child? So now, I've got to talk about Abu Mis Kafur. Uh, his name Kafur or Kafir. Kafir, basically, if you don't know that, guys, Kafir, it means somebody that's non-Muslim or disbeliever. So that's why they named The reason why they named him, because uh, back in the day, if any black person that darker skin, very darker skin from the Sudan or from uh, southern Egypt, they call him Kafur or Kafir. That means because because uh, people wasn't really converted into religion or things like that. So the story of of this of this great 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 legend or legacy uh, was uh, during the time of the Akshadid Empire or the Akshadid Dynasty. That if you don't know the Akshadid Dynasty, it was also one one of the Mamluks, the Mamluks that Mamluks by the Ottoman. So slaves of uh, you know Kazakhstani, uh, all those area. Circassian, uh, Uzbeki, Uzbekistani, or all all that kind of people. So you need to Google it. Iranian, uh, Persians. That's what they call it about the Mamluks. So I'm gonna, that's another video. I'm going to make another video about the Mamluks. But I'm talking about this uh, Kafur. Kafur. Uh, his story is that he he was purchased by the Akshadid vizier, Grand Vizier at the time. His name Ahmed bin Tolon, or 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 or, or Muhammad Bonitolon or Abu Bakr, so he's got a longer name. He was one of the, uh, he was the ruler of the dynasty and the Grand Vizier of the Ottoman Empire at the time, and he was the right hand man. Kafur or Kafir was a right hand man purchased by him, and castrated him. He's a eunuch, black man, was a eunuch. Why, why, why was he a eunuch? Because that's always the uh, the, 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 the the things was the with the Ottoman Empire at the time. So what they do is when they when they have a black man, a very strong person, they castrate them, they cut his genitals in order not to reproduce again and all he needs to do is to work. To work and that's it. Apart from that nothing really. So now what happened is after the death of his master, Ahmed Ban Tolon, or Tonto whatever you uh, call it guys, that's how it is. Abu Bakr Tolon what that after he died, so that the Akshadid, uh, that the Kafur took over the dynasty. He took over when he took over the dynasty, so he did not announce that someone. Uh, uh, he said, I said that, that the son of Abu Bakr or Ahmed bin Salon, who's the one that took over, but he's ruling on behalf of him. But he became. As a result of that, he became the Grand Vizier of the Ottoman Empire in North Africa and all over. So what happened is, he and then there was a because because how he became he made an incursion, it called as a Nubian incursion in around nine o two or nine o three, yeah, nine hundred o two. So he made an incursion and then controlled all the area all the way to uh, Mesopotamia, Iraq. And Damascus, Syria, those areas, he controlled all that area, and he's, you know, he managed, he managed to, to control all the areas, and and to win in many many battles. That's why they call him Kafu. Kafu. So he's a very wise man, and also they call him uh, why they call him Kafu as well. But that's what I said because he was a very dark person, and 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 talented, and at the same time uh, clever. Yeah, that's why he controlled the area. But then, after they were never, they said they said the Akshadid Empire or dynasty or the Ottoman Empire, they never managed to take over 
the dynasty from him. But what happened at that time? So they, uh, after he died, the reason why he died because he's a eunuch man. He can't, uh, he can't reproduce reproduction and things like that. So he died when he died. So he passed over. Then uh, he passed over the, the dynasty or the Aksadid Empire to uh, Abu Bakr. Uh, no, uh, to Ahmed bin uh, Ahmed bin Talon sons or or family. So they took over the dynasty. So now what people think about that, yeah? Again, the history sometimes is more a lot more distortion in history when they talk about this uh, gentleman. I will miss Kafur. Kafur. He actually took over by the help of many, 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 many black soldiers like him, uh, whether it's in Egypt or all the way towards the Sudan. So he took over by that help and things like that. But in the history, when you look at that, he was a slave, yes, but he rose through through the ranks. But it, it, when people say that, if you go look at his his his, uh, his uh, autobiography or biography or Wikipedia, they're gonna say, oh, he rose through the, the the rank and things like that so which is at that time for a dark skin or black man at that time was very hard especially when you're a slave uh you know what i mean so more likely the circassian or the mamluks that those who came from a like came from a background like europe for example like the ottoman or eastern europe more likely for them to become uh, grand viziers but it was it was very hard for a black uh slave or, or Bashi Bazooks to become that kind of things, but he took it over, yeah, head on uh, from those people. He never managed to stop and never let them uh, take it over from him. So if you don't know that Kafur uh, was, his history is not really been talked about that much because again, uh, you know, slavery or, uh, or or racism in that world is really huge. You know, racism in North Africa is so big. So you can't really, people, uh, people always, they don't see you as a human being. you got to understand that. They only see you as a human being when you had that money or when maybe you have a position of power. Even if you've got that position of power, people are not going to see you as that as well. You should understand that, guys. So did you ever know of this person? Have you ever known of him? If you haven't known of Kafir or Kafur, what I would miss Kafur, now we heard of him, guys, and make sure we pay homage to this great, 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 great leader. Also, I mentioned that great leader again, you know, this is another leader beside, beside, beside St. Maurice as well. Many people that don't know, this is another leader from the Egyptian Empire or from uh, during, before the, uh, St. Maurice is just before the, in, during the Roman Empire, but him, Kafur, or Kafir, or Abu Mus Kafir, is during the Ottoman Abbas, Ab, uh, Empire, especially the Aksadid Empire. So with that being said, family, I hope you understand that now. And most of you guys, yeah, in North Africa or other places, I hope you understand that and uh, and leave all all something aside and understand what I'm talking about. So I hope you find a go uh, check him out, guys. Bless, bless, family. Stay blessed, family. Bye.